Hey, how's it going guys? For today's video, we're going to be doing a Justin Upton debut. Taking a look at his stats, he's got 94 contact on right and left, 92 pop on right, 104 power on left, 74 vision. His vision is lacking a little bit, and if I'm being honest, yeah, of course, I'd like it to be a little bit better. But with the high contact against right or left, the vision, like I said, even though it's not great, should be pretty doable, especially on Legend. He has 75 fielding with 83 arm strength, and we're going to be using him actually in left. So his fielding ends up going down to a 71, but still 83 arm strength. His fielding isn't going to be this elite over the top defense, but it's not going to be terrible either. With 72 speed and 70 stealing, he's not going to be stealing bags left and right, but he's a card that you could put in motion for the hit and runs in certain counts. And if he gets a good jump, you just take all the way because 72 speed will be good enough to just let him go all the way. That being said, our lineup right now is going to be Tony Gwen leading off Alomar. And then we have Upton hitting in the three hole. So hopefully we get, you know, some runners on for him and he could get some RBI opportunities and maybe even go yard. And then we got Frank Thomas, Willie Mays, Ron Jeremy, Rogers, Hornsby, and Cal Ripken Jr. So to start the new season, we are so far rated 734. Like I said, this is a new season. So this gameplay won't be played on Legend. Its odds are, especially with how the bar is going right now, it's either going to be played on All-Star or Hall of Fame. All right, so our opponent for today is going to be the real AB21. And we also have King Felix on the mound. I guess we'll also be doing a King Felix debut. We'll see how he does on these lower ratings. Ricky Henderson, Ichiro, Alomar. He's got a pretty speed cheesy team with Arietta on the mound so let's see how this game goes our opponent's win loss ratio is two to one he's 96 and 49 not terrible but not not great either we're not doing a friendly quit don't send it nope sorry bud let's play all right so i have used king felix before and when the times that i have used him he's been against either really elite players or when i'm not recording and to be honest he's done really well like i said if he's playing elite players and his era is only a little above four that's not bad at all repeat of the 2-2 count we're gonna throw a sinker we miss our spot but it is 97 miles per hour we blow by him all right with each row we're gonna try and stay away from the middle of the plate we hung our change up a little bit but thankfully, that is Etro, not Frank Thomas. That's just a routine fly out to Willie Mays. Now we're going to go ahead and get this sinker over the heart of the plate. Get ourselves a line out. First batter was really good. We didn't miss our spots a whole lot. But then the last two batters, we missed our spots every time. 0-2 the count to Tony Gwynn. I actually have a really bad issue of swinging at every pitch that comes in on these lower difficulties. Mostly because it's just the PCI looks like it's covering the whole plate. The pitch is slower, so everything just looks super hittable. Full count to Tony Gwen. I'm assuming we're just going to get a sinker. And we did get the sinker. I thought he was going to probably just try and throw a get me over, but that's ball four. Robbie shoots that one by the shortstop. So we're going to have first and second with two speedsters on. If he isn't slide stepping, we might take advantage of it. The man, the myth, the angels legend, Justin Upton. What will he do? and we swung at a bad pitch uh i will be honest though i'm already not necessarily the biggest fan of upton swing i like when my players load at either early or at a good time at least in my eyes upton's load is so late it's another one of those cards you have to mentally just try and block it out and don't use that as a load in mentally for yourself just as a little point here pay attention to frank's load you'll see before the ball is thrown he's already sitting back and he's already ready to go upped in when the ball's coming in is when he lifts up his foot so that always messes with my head frank shoots that one in the whatever hole i just drew the fattest blank so we're gonna have bases loaded one down as long as we avoid that double play we should be getting one run oh two the count to willie mays also pay attention to how he loads the ball's thrown and he is lifting up his leg as the ball is coming in there's some players who lift it so so late like matt williams is one of them where it just messed with me and so i said as long as we don't get a double play we're gonna get a run turns out i'm an idiot did we just get a ron bomb we could always count on ron cummins ron jeremy with a grand slam mustache rides all around we are now up four to zero horns ball Hits it right to the third baseman on the 0-0 count. We swung first pitch. Realistically, that wasn't a bad pitch to swing at, but we did miss it. All right, so we did almost start that inning with a choke. So we did almost choke our first at-bats of the game as we get Duke to do a check swing bunt. I was pretty sure after I, with one down and choked the uh, 
the ba getting a base hit with Willie Mays or anything. I thought for sure we were going to end up getting no runs last inning. But we ended up, again, getting that Ron Jeremy Grand Slam. That saved us big time. All right, as you can see, Cal's hitting 405 for me so far. I've been enjoying him. And, again, the combination of him and my cap as opposed to Pudge and my cap, I'm enjoying a little bit more. As you can see, between the averages up on those scoreboards, Pudge is only hitting like 340. Cal Ripken's probably now hitting like 398 or something. Felix, um... Please don't tell me that ends up being an out. That's five speed. And we're still safe. Thank God that was going to be a base hit up the middle. We still ended up getting the single. That's all that matters. Tony is going to drive that one into the gap. Now, with pretty much any other player on our team, that is a guaranteed RBI. And that was absolutely smoke. But because of five speed, King Felix is second and third one out. Robbie's. Oh, my God. I thought we were lining out on that one, too. That is going to be an RBI single. Actually, two RBI single. We are now up 6-0 to zero early on. Maybe we get a mercy. All right, we're power swinging with Justin Upton. Now, I got to remember, his leg kick is going to be a little late. That's okay. Just visually block it out. And we... That's a perfect pitch. So far, 0 for 2. One of those at-bats is clearly my fault. The other one... Still getting used to a swing. Those are my first at bats with him. Not a good start. Frank is going to bleed that one over Alomar. So we're going to have first and third, assuming each row doesn't come up gunning. And he doesn't. So first and third, two outs, getting an extra run here. I'll be happy with that. God, that swing with Frank was absolutely terrible. I would have, honestly, I would have preferred that would have been an out. We were so late and so jammed up. And that ends up turning into three runs on an absolute. Tank from Willie. We are now up 9-0 to zero in the first two innings as I swing at an absolutely amazing pitch. Mwah. Money. And that's going to go ahead and turn into a line out. Ron Jeremy almost gave out another mustache ride. One pitch I should probably utilize a little bit more from King Felix and my experiences with him is that sweeping curve right there. I, I just I haven't been using it a lot. I've done a lot of the sinker changeup combo mixed in with a slider. As you can see, people are definitely sitting on that sinker because it comes in so fast. So using the changeup and the slider and the uh, sweeping curve or sharp curve, whichever one he's got, sweeping curve, those are going to be important for me to use and keep my uh, opponents off balance. I think for the rest of this inning, we're going to do a challenge of not throwing one fastball or sinker just because, as you saw right there, I got it. He's clearly looking fastball, and so I'm going to show him that I'm not going to throw it. Get ourselves a very routine weak pop out to left. Justin Upton has been somewhat busy today. That's either his second or third pop out. Two down. 0 1 to Gallo. Change up low and away. Should do the trick. All right, he's out on his front foot, so we're going to have an 0 2 count. I know he's thinking fastball still, so a slider may lock him up, assuming we hit our spot, and it doesn't really hit our spot all that well. Uh, you know what? I'm being stubborn. We're going right back to it. The repeat of the 0-2. That slider's going to be dirty. He's actually, for how far inside that was, he hit it pretty hard. But either way, we get ourselves the ground out into the shift. I think we're one run away from the mercy, unless it needs to be four innings in total. I'm assuming he might just quit here. And he ends up quitting. So we're going to go ahead and play another game for King Felix's debut on the YouTube channel. He obviously went three innings, no earned runs. He did get hit a little bit until we adjusted to our opponent, who was clearly just looking fastball. But again, 9-0 to zero in the first two innings. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play one more game. Thankfully, that game was actually played on Hall of Fame. We were both over 700 rated, which is interesting because the PCIs were still huge. But we're going to go ahead and play another one. So we're going to be playing you, somebody who apparently does YouTube. It says YT in front of the name. I suck at this game. Tony Gwen, Cal Ripken, Willie Mays, Frank, Duke, Brooks Robinson, Hornsby Pudge. He's got Jim Palmer on the mound. I've actually never seen this Jim Palmer. Scratch that. I've seen him once and absolutely hated him. I hate how his delivery comes through. And don't send the friendly quit. Nope, we're not doing a friendly quit. We're going to go ahead and play this game out. You're you're sporting the 12-0 banner. There's no reason to send a friendly quit, dude. Come on. 0-2 the count to Tony Gwen. We're going to go ahead and give him that fastball up and in. Got it over the plate a little bit, but it still ends up being a ground ball to Roberto Alomar. One down. I have seen some of the questions in the comments in earlier or prior videos um the best pitchers i've had used so far in this game now they're not necessarily budget cards but the top four for me are between clayton kershaw who's free zach grinky who you see right now who is about 130k 
Bert Blylevin, who has actually done really, really damn well for me. He has, I think, the lowest ERA out of anyone on my team, and he's about 100K, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, King Felix has done really well for me, and I haven't really got to use him a whole lot in ranked seasons. I've only used him in friendlies against other really, really damn good players, and he's still rocking a 4.4 ERA. And again, that's that doesn't sound great, but you got to remember, these are against really good people. All right, our opponent is clearly sitting fastball. We're just going to throw that kind of get me over curveball. He's out on his front foot. So we're going to follow that on the one two count with the slider. Odds are he's going to make contact, but he's going to be out in front. We're going to get a weak ground ball. And I was wrong. We end up getting strike three. Like I said, last time I faced Jim Palmer, it took me a couple innings to hit him, you know, hit him pretty well. Um, as you can see right there, his his delivery is absolutely god awful. Full count to Robbie. I honestly don't know what to expect here. Got a fastball to drive that should be getting down for at least a single. It's gonna be a single, so we got ourselves a man on with one down. Justin Upton ends up lining out. We did swing first pitch. I should be at least a little bit more picky with him, but oh well. We at least need to get a run this inning and that is not going to do it two well hit balls honestly and even tony gwen's ball was well struck nothing we could do just didn't find the right holes all right you know what i'm an idiot i know he's looking for that fastball inside and you know what being an idiot did pay off slightly we did jam him but ends up being a base hit not ideal repeat of the three two count that might just get absolutely hammered but he probably dropped his PCI. That silver fielding was good enough to cover some ground. One down. 2-1. We're going to go right back to that fastball. He was ready for it, even though it was probably a solid foot inside. First and second, one down. All right. I'm being stubborn. We're going right back to that slider. That's exactly why he does not sit back on it. So you know what? We're going to do it again. Show me you're going to sit back. You sat back a little bit. If it was actually spotted well, you were going to ground on the double play. So it's going to be first and second still, but with two outs, I think this might be bringing up his pitcher. So with Jim Palmer being up next, that's exactly what I was going to do. If I was going to walk Pudge, I was going to be completely okay with it. I was going to make sure everything was off the plate. He swings, he swings, and we get to face Jim Palmer first batter of next inning. So that kind of ruins his inning even for the third. God, I got to go back to sitting off speed. I'm about 30 feet out in front of every pitch again. And it's also Hall of Fame. So all the more reason just to look and go the other way. Ron is going to hit it hard right up the middle. But he is going to actually turn that into a base hit out of boy. I got to stop swinging first pitch. Remember what I said in the first game? When I'm playing on these lower difficulties, I have no sense of discipline whatsoever. Every pitch is the size of a grapefruit, and they're coming in at maybe five miles per hour tops. It's like I have the complete opposite of an issue compared to most people. I will play so god awful on the lower difficulties. The higher rating I end up going, the better I play, just because it, it forces me to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, one to Cal Ripken. We're gonna throw that curveball, miss our spot, but it's still a good enough pitch. So we get ourselves a one, two, three inning very quick. Let's go get some runs this time, and we're gonna practice some discipline. So we practice our discipline by swinging first pitch. Very nice. That Grinky. Anybody else is going deep, but it is that Grinky. So two pitches, two outs. Discipline's going well. Gotta making Jim Palmer look like a damn all-star. When in reality, he does suck. Last time it took me two innings to torch him, but it did happen. So far, he's gone through two and two thirds. And I think well, no, we do have two hits, but Tony Wayne gets himself a double. Robbie shoots it the other way. Please just at least end up being a double. It's over his head. So we're going to have a RBI double from Robbie Alomar. I'm telling you, if you do not have this man, go get him. God, I'm going to be honest. Going to be brutally honest. As much as I love Upton in real life, his card stinks. I can't get over the same way I couldn't get over Matt Williams. His damn stance and how it ends up being so late on balls i cannot get over it i mean shoot even with that least matt will all right yep player debut so far a fat l man can't make plays man can't make contact and to be fair if you can get over the fact of his swing and maybe how bad he's gonna probably play defensively um 
might end up being a pretty good card but for me like i said i'm a very visual person if his leg kick is so late it's, it's just gonna throw me off we're gonna throw a fastball well out of the zone i get the vibe he's gonna swing i nailed it unfortunately that ball is absolutely hammered which makes zero sense for how high out of the zone that was odds are it's gonna end up being a one-to-one -one game and that's exactly what it's gonna do so odds are maybe even again it might be a two-to-one game before we're out of this inning two to the count good slider that's a good pitch he sat back on it obviously he didn't drive it necessarily the right field but it was still good enough where he got some good wood on it so it's now two to one yeah just early not necessarily a surprise i knew he didn't go with that pitch all that well we're getting what we want his timing is not there on most of the pitches but they are falling completely forgot pudge leads to jim palmer and that's why you know what at the end of the day it was perfectly acceptable to walk him got ourselves a routine round out of the inning the score is two to one so far only 26 pitches through three and it's now 27 pitches through three and a third willie is all over that one that's at least over his head that's not gone we got ourselves another double with one out so a base hit will score willie assuming that it's not absolutely obliterated right at somebody wow i don't, I don't know why he checks one there we would have absolutely obliterated it just like that one two one the count to tony Gwynn. we're gonna throw a curveball where god knows where that was gonna end up because i missed my spot but it's a routine fly ball to center field one down let's get ourselves a quick inning and learn to be patient for once in our life guess what i'm throwing another slider i'm a champion i'm throwing i'm all right we're gonna warm up the bullpen we are missing spot after spot grinky you've done really well for me so far this year but all of a sudden these last two innings not so hot all right we're now gonna beat him inside with that two seam he's on top we get ourselves a relatively routine ground ball to rogers hornsby Woo! first pitch swinging yes sir i know myself really well i don't know why i hate myself grinky it's just like every other batter not finding a hole yet all right so two down we at least again got to two strikes with zach grinky tony gwen start off a two-hour rally for us bud full count to tony gwen we've actually been somewhat successful on taking pitches for once in our life and tony gwen launches that for a solo shot look at that being patient pays off it's a whole different ball game when i'm not just swinging at anything even remotely close to the zone and i'm an idiot two two count for the fourth time probably now the fifth time so the repeat of the 2-2 count for the fifth time our opponent can't seem to straighten it out just got to throw it over the heart of the plate like a champion a couple times see if jay up can rob it oh my god he's just too slow oh that's a bad pitch and bad pitch i meant good pitch because our opponent pops it right up I, did he slam his pci down what did you do i can't think of a more perfect batter to be patient with right now and he takes out jim palmer which might have been a bad idea because i absolutely hate the way he throws i don't think he's a good card i just for whatever reason on the lower difficulties i can't touch him three one the count to justin upton we're gonna be green lighting a fastball ends up being ball four frank is a foul ball home run machine frank please tell me got all that one all right we got ourselves a four to two actually excuse me four to three lead franco's yard willie's gonna follow that up with a double into the gap so far a better start to the inning he's probably regretting the fact he took out jim palmer our opponent brings out zach Britton. he is a car that i tend to hit fairly well anyway so not a big deal we did torch raleigh we got ourselves the lead we just need to get at least one more run here and we just missed it and that's un that's not that's not gonna move over even with 92 speed that just was not hit deep enough yep got off the end of the bat pci was there just off the end of the bat but hornsby says who cares he'll put the barrel on the meat and he hits it off the foul pole god i love that little thing california ripkin jr gets himself a line out damn all right giambi absolutely ruined this man's day you got 121 pop and by 121 pop you got it 121 inches behind home plate out of boy literally a repeat of what happened last inning i bring out rob nan our opponent brings out giambi hopefully you know it'd be crazy he ends up popping out behind home plate too repeat of the 2-2 count we're playing a foul 
ball machine. I swear to God, he's got to be contact swinging. There's no freaking way. That's like the sixth batter that is at least repeated counts four pitches in a row. So that's split over the heart of the plate. But thankfully, we didn't do that to Giambi. We did it to Tony Gwen. That's a routine fly out to Willie Mays. Two down. Very quick inning so far. All right. Bus Cal in. Bus Cal in. We do exactly that, so I'm pretty sure we ended up probably throwing eight pitches because the first batter ate six of those pitches. So, get ourselves out of the inning. One, two, three. Oh, you must not know the legend of Tony Gwen. All he does is hit yaks off lefties. And even though that's not a yak, he gets himself a single. So, man on first, no outs. Get ourselves another run or two. I bet you he leaves. Aloe Vera. Hits into a double play unless that's turned really slow. All right, I'll take it. 1-0 the count to Upton. A lefty and a dream for Justin Upton. A lefty and a dream, and that dream's a deep pop out. We did just get ourselves a little underneath it. I, we have not even gotten one hit with this man. I know I've seen in the comments before that, oh, every card you use ends up looking good because you hit well with that card or whatever. Well, guess what? Here you go. My review on Upton, at least so far, unless we at least get another at bat and go yard with him, he stinks. I love him in real life, but I can't use his card. Oh, Willie, flat. Oh, my God, that was hit weak. We sat back on that and everything. Drove it. Fastball up and in. Fastball up and in. Oh my God, Hornsby making gold glove plays and I, I ruined it. I had a yellow throw. Not too often do I actually choke that and I choked it. I am so sorry, Hornsby. Hopefully we get ourselves a double play and make up for it. Three, two, the count. We're gonna go and throw a slider. Ends up being a base hit. God, dude, we got the pitch for the double play and somehow Count Rifkin had no range. For once, All right, we're going to go ahead and bring out Johnny Venters, which I assumed he was going to take out probably Joey Bats or something because I know he's not going to hit lefty-lefty, but it was worth the gamble or risk to see if he was going to do it. Exactly what I expected. Joey Bats comes out to hit, and he is all over that one. Will Justin Upton please show some range? He cuts it off, and the best thing is he doesn't even advance. Welcome to line out, crew, bud. So we bring out Osuna. He's actually, in my opinion, on Diamond Watch. If you think I'm joking about that, take a look at his stats. And also, uh, I have 110 of his cards. So I'm, I'm pretty convinced it might happen. 3-2, that's a good cutter. That's a good cutter and a worse hit. A good cutter and a worse hit. Oh, my God. 3-2, that should be a good change. He takes what a dot. All right, cutter, that's going to be a good pitch. He takes is a little out front not necessarily a whole lie out front but we get ourselves a weak kind of flare uh pop out to center field six to four we at least need to get one to two more runs feel comfortable with our lead going into the bottom of the ninth get a base hit up the middle for cow we were out in front probably not a shocker i've been doing that all game but we did get the base hit up the middle joey Ends up getting robbed. Hopefully, he gets a yellow throw. Nope, he's better than me at that. So, we only have a two-run lead in this game. We need to get. We need to make sure we end up closing it out. One, two, three. Upton gets that play. We got ourselves one down. We are missing spot after spot. With every pitcher, this is not a good sign as we throw a fastball right down the middle. But welcome to line out crew yet again, buddy. It's, it's not an exclusive club, unfortunately, anymore. All right. Hoffman last time you absolutely choked when you came in to close please for the love of God do not do that again he does it again actually he might not have if he ends up going home on this he was yeah I was gonna say he was gonna be hosed oh look it's Joey Bats who ended up throttling him for the walk off we'll swing at this pitch every now and then and we get ourselves a ground ball right to Cal Ripken. Diamond fielding, green throw, redemption goes to Trevor Hoffman. Thank God we end up getting ourselves out of that jam. Not necessarily the greatest game on my part. Unfortunate lineouts, of course, did happen. But realistically, on these lower difficulties, I am so much worse of a player. I swing at everything. I just, I have ADD and suck. So players of the game... Are Tony Gwen, who is three for four with a home run. Frank Thomas, one for three with a home run as well. Hornsby, one for four with a jack. 
Willie Mays two for four with two doubles. So for once in this series so far on the player debuts, I will be honest, as much as I love Justin Upton in real life and how I think he actually does contribute to the Angels pretty well, don't like his card. It, just like Matt Williams, he has the same exact issue where it's just visually for me, his stance and how late his leg kick is is a nightmare. If you can get over that and you do well without, you know, you're not like me where the visual isn't going to throw you off, he might be a solid card. His defense, for the most part, was good except for one play. Um, he has decent speed. Realistically, he has the stats to do it, but it's just his swing. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very much.